On the roof! Hey everyone. Hello and welcome to DC Craze, the Hitchhiker's Guide to Comic Books. And uh, today we're going to be doing another review. This time it's Captain America Civil War. Uh, I recently got to watch this movie and I really, really liked it. And I thought I should definitely do a review on it. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, I'd give this movie a rating of like 4.5 out of 5 or like a 90%. It was a very well done movie. Uh, it, I really, really liked it. Every single character in this movie had a lot of depth and a lot of reason for being where they were. Um, Captain America has so much depth from when he was back in the Second World War and with Bucky, and so his friendship with him really, really sways his judgment and really is he's the whole cause of this entire movie. Same with the Black Panther. Um, he, the imposter of Bucky killed uh, his father and he now has a lot of conflicting thoughts about this and it really haunts him and he wants to get revenge and so that's his side of the story and he's also king of Wakanda he has all kinds of different resources which gives his character a lot of depth as well and it's also really really uh, cool how at the end they had a lot of plot twists it makes you really really like want to see more and see how the characters react how it really changes the the course of the movie, like how we find out that Bucky is the one who killed Tony Stark's parents, um, that is really, really revolutionary, and that's l really what causes Tony Stark to go over the edge, and that was a huge plot twist, and I was really, really not expecting that. Another really good plot twist was when we found out that the, I forget his name, but the guy who, um, was, whose goal was to divide the Avengers, he was actually wearing, like, facial changers or whatever to look like Bucky, which that, I was not expecting that in the least, and that really, really surprised me, and I liked that about it. The movie was also funny, and I liked that about it. It was, it was, it was it had a bit of humor, and uh, I liked that. It, it really, you know, eased the tension a little bit. Ant-Man and Spider-Man really kept the audience laughing, and uh, that's what I, I like about them in this movie, too. I really liked the gradual build-up of the, the, the plot. It kept you on the edge of the seat because you're waiting for each next piece of the puzzle to come together so you could understand more and more of what was going on, eventually building up to the last plot twists, which I really liked about it. There were, like, the little plot points where, like, there was a machine in that guy's hotel room, and we didn't know what that was, or I didn't know what it was, at least. And then, who is the guy? Who is that Russian guy who's killing people, trying to figure out all this stuff? What? Who is he? We don't really know, and I really wanted to know who he was, and that really kept me on the edge of my seat, and really wanted, I, that's why I really wanted to know more, because I wanted to know who this guy was, and what was going to happen next. There was one thing that I didn't particularly like, but I mean, it made sense. Um, what I mean is, I wanted to see a lot more screen time of some of the characters, and I wanted to know a lot more about them. Like, I wanted to know a lot more about Peter Parker and Spider-Man, and I wanted to see more of him. Same with Ant-Man, I wanted to see a lot more of him. But... I know, of course, the reason that he wasn't in that movie as much as he, as he as we may have wanted him to be is because he was is because it's not his movie. It's Captain America's movie, and um, they were not they were not uh, crucial points in the movie, and they were not what the audience should totally be focusing on entirely. It was mo it was should have been you know Iron Man versus Captain America, and they were just. They were just there because they have their own standalone movies, and if you want to know more about them, then you can go see those movies. Um, but I just personally wish that they were on screen more because I really love those characters and they were really nice. And actually, I want to rewatch some of their movies. I want to rewatch Ant Man mo Ant Man's movie now because I really just loved his performance in Civil War. In all, I just loved this movie. It was so well done. It was really, really good, and I loved it. And I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. And if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go see it, because it is definitely one of the best Marvel movies out there. I want to refer one of my friends. Uh, his name is Sam the Man. You can check out his channel there. Um, he has a great gaming channel, so if you like gaming, you should definitely go check him out, because he's, he's, he's got a really good channel, and I love his videos. And I also want to just thank... Uh, Hurricane Jane for uh, referring me on Instagram and sharing my page because that got me an extra two subscribers and I'm really thankful for that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.